the stand y'all made. Um, it's made out of PVC pipe. Um, very simply made. I got about thirty dollars um, in this build, and what I made it for is to be able to hang my bow up. I can hang my bow right here. I put these clamps on it so I can hang something here. Like I can, like I can take my hat. Like if I'm sitting in my stand, I'm just tired of wearing my hat. I can hang it on there. I can hang uh, some of my attractants on here. Um, I can hang my uh, thermosail. I got it uh, a, a paracord on the top of my thermosail. I can hang it on here. And this is what this is the reason why I put the clamps on here. You can take the clamps off and put them like right there, like this. And during rifle season, I can take my gun and prop it up right here. And then bow season or whatever, I can take them and put them right here, just like I did. And, um, you know, hang stuff on them. I can adjust them up and down. You know, pretty cool. Very easy little build. I just thought of something that uh, I wanted to put something in my blind that would help me um, with uh, holding my stuff. So I'm going to put it in my blind, my Baronet Big Cat. And... Um, then we're gonna go over here to where my my camera and all is over here, and I got some big and J's I'm gonna put out. So get ready for the weekend. All right, guys, I'm in my blind. Um, so I got my chairs. There's not much light in here. Here's my door, but um, but you can see how I got it set up with the with the uh, the stand. It works really well. I got plenty of room in here. Plenty of room in this blind. This big baronet big cat is absolutely awesome. I love them. They work really well. They keep you out of the weather. But you see how I've done this? It's on the edge over here, out of the way. Here's my chair where I sit. And uh, I can hang my stuff on here. I got my other clamp for my gun when I get ready for gun season. Boom, we're ready to go. We're ready to hunt. Now look right down that lane. Y'all have had this question asked to me on numerous times, numerous occasions. Does this stuff really work? You got the Big and J's uh, liquid and Big and J's cube. Um, I've used the cubes before and I've seen, I've got numerous pictures and video of deer and hogs were, uh, eating on this. I've used this before and it attracted deer and hogs, which where I hunt at, I'm good with that. I'm good with deer and hogs. I mean, I'm deer hunting, but if a wild hog comes out, uh, we love to eat them things too. So we put them down as well. I'm going to put both this out this morning. And the question is, do they work? Let's find out. Y'all going to think I'm crazy. Well, there's my block, my Big and J block. I got my Big and J liquid. I'm going to pour this liquid right on top of that block. I may be doing this all wrong, I don't know. But it seems like to me, that would be legit. Now I'll show you something else I did last year. Bow hunting. <laughs> Again, y'all probably gonna think I'm retarded. There's one of my, that's my 20 yard stick. And I've got a 25 and a 30 right there for my, for uh, bow hunting. You don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Last year I had a different spot I was deer hunting in. I was, uh, I was bow hunting in. And y'all, let me tell you something. I seen deer actually go to these sticks and start licking them because of this stuff. It's crazy. But hey, if it works, it works. We're just trying something different, something new. Who knows? <laughs> Big and J's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right, y'all, I got my stuff out. You can see I got my Big and J's block here. I poured some of my liquid on, on my 20, 25, and 30 yard sticks. I poured it on my tree where my camera is. I poured the rest of it on top of the Big and J's um, mineral block. So let's see what happens. It's um, supposed to be a really nice weekend. We had 
crazy rain this week with Hurricane Sally and we got the bands of it here in South Georgia. So we got a lot of rain, but that's all right. Um, it's drying out, it's a beautiful morning. So this weekend is gonna be fantastic. I just have a good feeling about this weekend. The temperatures are dropping. I think tonight's supposed to be in the 60s. So I'm definitely gonna be in the stand tomorrow morning. Um, may try it this afternoon, I don't know. May let it rest today and then tomorrow, come out tomorrow morning and hunt and see what happens. Does the big and J's work? That's the question. I've used it before. I've seen them lick these sticks and lick these blocks. I've got them on camera doing it. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. So, um, should be fun, should be exciting. So, um, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, stay with me, we got some good hunting coming.